Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I am here today to share with you um, my first project that I have made using the um, new um, August release from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, I did a unboxing video last night to show you all the different ones. And today I'm gonna to show you what I made with the first one I chose to work with. Um, and what I chose to work with first is the 3D carousel gift box. So these are the pieces that come with it. Um, these you cut out three times. Okay. This is a layering piece that you can layer on top of that one. Okay. This is the base. Okay. These are all going to fold up and it's going to attach to these sides as you fold them. Okay, um, this is the uh, panel for the roof, okay, and you're going to cut out six of these. This is the layering piece for that right there. This is the ruffle piece that layers right, um, right on top of that. And there's this other one that layers just a little bit shorter, so you can have two layers of ruffle if you wanted to. Okay, and then this piece here is to um, like give a, you know, like a little frame around these shapes, these windows. Okay, and what's last? Oh, this piece right here makes a, you know, a flag banner that you can put on a straw or a stick or nothing if you want to. <laughs> so that is the die set. Again, it's called 3D Carousel Gift Box. So, since it was called 3D Carousel Gift Box, I had to use Carousel and make mine a Carousel Gift Box. Oh, I love this. It is so pretty, you guys. This die is a must-have, and it's such good size. I mean, look at that. It is probably, let's see, um, that would be three, two, it's like five and a half inches wide. So that is really, really cool. So I cut all of my um, base out of out of 110 pound pink cardstock. Okay, that's what all my base layers are. And then I cut all the layering pieces and then I stitched on them before I um, added them to the, um, the base pieces. Um, I stitched on the top two before I layered those. I stitched on all the ruffles around. So I, I used I, I used the first layering piece and the shorter layering piece. So I have that all the way around. Okay. Um, I also made mine shakers. So every other window is a shaker. And then the other opposite windows from them I just made um, uh, you know, I just decorated. So this is really sturdy and it's really good sized. So there's all the pieces. So um, how I, oops, took off one did. So how I did the um, uh, shakers is I took a, um, like a pocket letter, cut out each piece, you know, each um, square, and trimmed it down so it would fit behind here. I filled it with some sequins and then um, uh, taped it all back up and then I sandwiched it in between the base pink piece and the layering piece. So it's all inside there, not going anywhere. So so this is out of that, you know, a little softer plastic. It's not like hard acetate, okay? And then I just decorated it all up with some of the carousel, um, you know, like uh, stickers and ephemera and stuff. This is the flag that comes with this die set. So I just uh, wrapped it around a little, it's like a little stick. And then just tucked it behind here, put a little pom-pom, some flowers, some of those little, one of those little picks from um, Dollar Tree. This is uh, one of the leaves, capsule leaves from Scrap Diva also. This is a uh, flower that somebody had already made me. It was in my stash, it's gorgeous. Um, this is one of the stickers. This is a layered sticker from Hobby Lobby, that one that has all the carousel pieces and then I just stuck one of the um, stickers from the collection on this one window okay so then there's another shaker there on that one 
And this side I got a sticker on the back of that window also, and then a couple of ticket tickets that I had in my stash, and then a chipboard star from the from the chipboard um, collection, and then this other piece of ephemera from um, was a sticker from that same carousel type pack from Hobby Lobby. So then there's another shaker. And then this one, I've just got a sticker of the camera, um, a flower that, again, that was in my stash, somebody made me. This is one of those gold puffy, like applique type things I stuck behind there. This is a chipboard piece from the collection. This is a bottle cap with um, carousel paper back there that I made a while back and I just decided to stick it there. Okay, so that's that. So look how big that is inside there. I mean, it holds a lot. So um, I told you I used both layering pieces, so I got, kinda got like three layers up here on the top and then the layered piece of the roof. Um, this one, rather than sticking a straw in there, I decided to, this is a, um, like a knob pole that I had in my stash forever. I got this at Michael's years and years and years ago um, when I was kinda like altering different pieces of like furniture and stuff. I had these cute little colored knobs and I just thought that looked really cute sticking it down there in there and then I trim took some of that little um somebody sent me this in a swap I don't have any <laughs> so I'm, I kind of <laughs> I use it a lot I love it it's really you know it's a small you know like a little garland piece for Christmas and I love it so I use, I just kind of wrap some of that around once I put the um, glued the knob in there so I think that turned out so cute and then this ice cream piece is from Scrap Diva's um, July release, um, her summer words too. So I already had that cut out and it looked good. So I just thought I'd add that on there. And so then I have this actual lid. I just put a pom pom on the inside to cover, you know, the whole. I didn't line the inside at all, inside uh, top or bottom. But man, that holds a lot of stuff in there. Let's see what all I can, I could show you would fit in there. Um, here's a little <laughs> jar that just slits right down in there. This little knick-knack thing sits down in there. Um, what else? It could hold a lot of stuff. So you could put, you could fill this up with like flowers, homemade flowers and ribbons and stuff. I mean, like bows. Um, yeah, lots of room. You could put you know, we could get all kinds of gifts in there to gift a person for a swap or for a birthday, you know, as a birthday gift to put some stuff in. And so then this just um, sits down. It fits on very, very good and very easy. It goes right back down. So I just lined up the ice cream piece with my, um, you know, with the, the section where it goes. So, and I was, had to be careful to not attach. I started to attach some of these pieces that we're decorating here that you know they're kind of going to the top and I started to glue them down I went no oh, no no can't do that <laughs> I want the lid to be glued down so anyway um yeah I think it turned out really cute it is so cute so sturdy definitely recommend using the 110 pound cardstock of some color and um because it will make it so sturdy and you know you don't have to sew on it I just did for this time I'm surprised that I did because it was the first time I put it together and usually I don't do that on first times because case it doesn't turn out on I have wasted all that time on all the stitching but I did it anyway and um, it came together real easy you know I spent some time on it because like I say I was um, you know sewing all these pieces and stuff but um, if you if I hadn't done that it would have been super quick to put together so anyway I think it turned out really pretty what do you guys think so anyway I love this love this die set um i will have it linked down below along with erica's shop scrapbeautydesigns.com um if you decide to purchase any of the dies um be sure to use my discount code it's it's polka 10 it's p-o-l-k-a 10 and that'll give you 10 percent off at checkout and um i'll also um link my affiliate link down there so if you decide to use that it will give me a little portion of the sale which i truly appreciate so, excuse me, I'll have all that link below. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more projects.